All right, guys, I'm back again for a ready rock and rolling day. I wanted to make this video for you guys. So, you know how everybody, this is a part two of my video from before. The original one will be up here for the old. Uh, we've been a couple of versions since this, but they finally added it in for traffic management so you can limit for bandwidth for your devices on the network. Like if your kids are streaming, you don't want them to use too much data, or if you don't want them to hog it because you, you know, you're paying for it. It's more important to you than for them to have it. As long as they're doing schoolwork, then it kind of equals out. But you know what I mean. So what I'm gonna do today is show you, because before in the old one, you're only able to do it to Wi-Fi devices. Now you can do it to any device you want, whether it's hardwired, Wi-Fi, whatever, you can do it. So it's freaking amazing. It's really dang cool. So, let's get right into it. Let's save you self some bandwidth. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is, is you're going to log in to your, you know, UDM, UDR, UDMSC, you know, all the good stuff. So, we'll go to settings. Now, I just want to let you know, this is network update 7.4.162 as of now. So this is how you do it. So first we're going to go to traffic management. And we're going to go to rules because we're going to create a rule. So we're going to do speed limit. You can do block, allow. So if you want to block certain things, you can do that here too. Can do it in firewall rules. There's kind of two way to do it. I like to do firewall rule way. I'll have a video up here. Makes it really easy for anyone to learn how to do it. So rock out, check it out. Hope you like it. So what we're going to do is speed limit. So you can select the speeds of how much you want and go up, down, depending on what you put in your, um, you know, your, uh, you can like put custom ones in here too and start typing numbers, whatever you want to do. But we're just going to keep whatever it is. We're just going to keep it at max. But what the cool thing is, you can select your target. So the target's going to be internet. And we're going to select the device. You can now, we can, now, this is the cool thing. So if you have your networks already done, you can just do everything on the network. So it doesn't matter if it's connected to Wi-Fi or if it's connected to um, uh, directly Ethernet or fiber or whatever you're using. Uh, it's going to set every device on there with the limit that we set here. So we want to download, we could bring this down. So we want to do this to megabytes. We could bring this down to, let's see, 1700 or let's do 67, 557. And we'll set this to upload. Upload, they just can have like, we can just do zero or I'm going to put 14. So we have 14. So that they're only going to be able to download at 75 megabits and upload at 14 megabits. So, if, let's say, let's go to select device. We're going to go to IoT network. We can select the IoT network. We can select the always schedules and stuff like that, too, just if you want it at certain times of the day. So, um, if your kids are supposed to be on certain times or whatever, and then later down the road when you're not working, kind of like, hey, Dad works at this time, so if you guys want to use the Internet, I'm not saying you can't use the Internet, but I need all the bandwidth. And later down the road when I'm done working tonight, it's automatically going to go full blast. Everybody gets anything, but when I'm working, I need to have the bandwidth. You can do that. It's pretty dang cool. Um, so what we can do is you can select multiple networks on here too. Multiple networks, or you just keep adding more in. It's just like how they changed um, security. We can add countries and stuff. You can just keep adding more and stacking more. So what we can do is go to devices itself. So every device on this network will be here, whether it's hardwired. This is hardwired. Set it in here. Now I can do always and set a time. So when I hit a add rule, it's going to add the rules. So that's going to limit them. This is a hardwired computer or a Wi-Fi. Anything I want, I can limit it. I can add more. Like, let's go down and add another one. Let's go to the Roomba. We'll have the Roomba in there and stuff. Even though these two are on different networks, it's going to set these two targets limited speed with that. So that's, it's freaking amazing. So if your kids, like I said again... If you or they're you're, you know like hey they're gaming they're using too much limit them limit to what they need for their game consoles say hey your phones is fine but the game consoles is a consistent this much speed that's a lot I want to limit it and then you can control it so you have the free will to tell them no 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 and get what you deserve because if you're paying for it and let's say you go over your bill too sometimes the streaming services they'll um, 
It'll, you can waste a lot of money on streaming, like from Google, T, uh, YouTube TV, Hulu, Amazon Prime, HBO Max, Paramount, Disney Plus, and you're like, gosh, my kids just watch that all day. And I, I don't want them using all my data up and stuff like that. I'm gonna limit them uh, to eight megabits, eight megabits for the kids for the downloading for watching movies. So we're only gonna give them eight. And then I'm gonna go select. Let's see here. Uh, let's see what we got here. Where is it? Harmony Hub, NVIDIA Shield living room. We'll set them to NVIDIA Shield because they watch all their stuff in the NVIDIA Shield or it's a TV, their tablet, whatever. You can set it to that. So if you're in a rural area or if you go over, you don't want to have to pay more money. Or like I said again, like I keep saying in this video, or if you don't want them to hog the speed, if you're not paying for that much speed, add the rule in. So we can just go to add the rule and boom. We got the rule right here in Video Shield, internet always, and we can manage it. So if I want to get rid of it now, obviously I want to get rid of it. So we're going to remove it and confirm, and it's removed. So I know this video is kind of short. I'm going to have more kind of these quick videos. I'm trying to get really down to the point. I know there's a lot of other YouTubers I'm not saying don't watch. Remember, I always say watch everyone, but... I'm just trying to make it quick and easy because sometimes you just want down to the nitty gritty. You don't want to slide through the videos or look at it. So I just wanted to make this video to get it quick and easy so you guys can get back what you're doing the most important thing is being with your families, making money, and enjoying life. So what I always say, I hope you and your family are having a rock and roll day. Hey, if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Rock on, be safe, and I hope to see you soon.